the night is upon us and sun's gone down and I've got the fire cranked up there. Got some coal starting to build up. Over here, I've got the camp oven. Uh, this is my big camp oven, uh, or Dutch oven, as they like to call them in other places, parts of the world. And um, in there, I've got it all ready to go. And normally I would preheat this and get it all ready to go, but this is my new camp oven. In there, I have got a piece of corned beef or silver side they ready to go. So a lot of people boil that. Um, I'm actually going to roast it. And I've got some sweet potatoes, some carrots, and some potatoes in there. And just uh, cover them with a bit of oil. And we're going to get some coals out and get that started cooking. When you're cooking with a Dutch oven or a camp oven, um, always pull your coals away from your fire and get a nice little uh, bed of coals going away from the fire. And that way you'll be able to uh, control your temperature a little bit better and you can refresh the coals as you go. So good little tip for you. Don't just chuck it straight onto the main fire there. So I've got a little bed of coals going there, ready to go. And then, Grab the camp oven there. And that's all ready to go. And that just sits nicely onto that little bed of coals that we just put there. And that way we can get it nice and even, nice and flat, and control the temperature a bit. Now we want some heat on top of that as well. So you'll notice around the camp oven there is a lip here. Now this lid here, it's a duo lid, so it actually has legs as well, so you can flip that over and use it as a fry pan as well. These handles, it's got the double handles. I'm not really sure how I like the double handles or not yet, but um, slowly working on that. So we'll just get a couple of nice hot coals from in there and shut them on top inside that lip. And uh, get that Get some heat going down through there and we'll get this fire going over here and get a few more um a few more coals built up so we can change them over when we need more heat this has been on for around about 20 minutes or so and um we're just gonna have a little bit of a check in here so yeah i've got my uh, big gloves on so i can uh, grab the stuff so and uh, also got this handy little pot lift, he uh, lid lifter, which can grab onto there. And you can lift the lid without spilling stuff, hopefully. There we go. And look at that. It's cooking away in there, just nicely. We'll get the lid on there again and leave it sit away. So that'll probably take about an hour to an hour 10. So now that we've had a check of that, we know that it's right uh, and we might get some more coals and whack them on the top. So that's the next job. Well, that's been in there for about an hour now. So we're just going on an hour. And, um, I might get out some of these off the top there, just real quick. Make it a little bit easier to get off. And now we just lift that straight up. There we go roasting away in there and um, I might give it a little bit longer 
those veggies are starting to look pretty good but it definitely needs some more heat i put some more coals underneath and some more on top it has been about an hour and a half now so we're just going on an hour and a half and it is starting to rain just sprinkling up there at the moment and uh, we're just gonna get in here and have a check so this should be uh, just coming up nice around about now so clear a few of these coals out Grab the lid and see how we go. Look at that. There is our roast. Everything looks pretty good in there. And um, you want to stab that with a fork, see if there's any moisture coming out, which I have just over here. Okay. I'm running out of hands here. Okay, we'll go again. Let's put the uh, lid down here on the grass for a second. Here, taties, all beautiful. Carrots, beautiful. Sweet potato, beautiful. Into there, pull that out. All clear liquid. And we're ready to cook. Look at the ends there. Ready to go. Yum, yum. There we go, it started raining, so I bought it inside and um, sliced up that corned beef. Check that out, absolutely awesome. Sweet potatoes, looking beautiful potatoes. Bit of carrot, and um, I've got some gravy over the other side, so I'm gonna go whack that on and have some of that. And um, it'll hook into dinner, so while well, it's hot. There you go, folks. So give it a try, cook it in the camp oven. Definitely worth it.